Hello everyone. So welcome back to your own channel that is we are in techno world. So in today's topic, I'm just going to discuss the different types of kernel. Right? As the previous video, I have discussed like the like topic about kernel and the shell. So in this video, I would discuss the monolithic kernel, right? As we are having different types of kernel, just like monolithic kernel, micro kernel, and hybrid kernel, as well as we are having exo kernel and nano kernel as well. But like the most uh, like uh, recently used kernels are monolithic and micro. And like in today's video, I'm just going to discuss this type of kernel that is monolithic, right? So first of all, you just come into the definition in which like uh, you could uh, like if you just check monolithic and micro, right? What do you mean by micro kernel? Micro means small in size, right? That means if we just compare this monolithic and micro kernel, then we could say that like this monolithic kernel is large in size, right? Why it is large in size? You just check it. Just like in case of kernel, we are having two kinds of spaces, just like user space and the kernel space. And this is a hardware, right? You just check it with the help of this diagram, right? This computer hardware means the computer system, right? Because the operating system is working on the computer system, right? It is working on the computer system. That means, like, onto this hardware, our operating system is running. And, like, if we are talking about the structure of the operating system, then we are having two kinds of like spaces in case of that the background of the operating system right the first one is the user space and the other one is the kernel space okay so like with the help of this user space like user is giving command with the help of this application software right and in the background the libraries are like in the background okay the libraries are running for each and every particular software okay then in case of kernel space, in case of kernel space, all the main functions, just like system call, file management, memory management, storage management, all kind of these functions are being running in the kernel space. Because kernel is the main function, like kernel is the main background or backbone of an operating system. Okay, because like in the background we are saying uh, like shell and kernel is there. So first of all, shell is giving the commands to the kernel, like what exactly the user wants to do, okay? So that means in case of this kernel space, right, we are having several functions which the kernel is being performed as per the user demand, as per the user demand. So what exactly the system called? First of all, you just understand it. But in detail, I would tell you what exactly the system call is in the one separate video, right? But this time, what you do, like you just understand the system call. System call means like as soon as we just write one program and we just compile it, then after that, the process has been, actually the process has been started, right? So the system call means the number of commands, just like open file or create the file, close the file, so these are basically the system call, right? Because the user is giving some command. Some command is like given by the user. Like what exactly the user wants to perform? Whether he wants to start the process, whether he wants to execute this process, right? So this exactly comes under the system call. After that, like we are having several functions which exactly the kernel is being performed, right? So the file system, because actually, the file management is being performed by the kernel. Input output device management, process management, memory management, security management, each and everything is being performed by the kernel, right? So why we are saying that micro or that monolithic kernel is larger size? Because each and every essential function is in the kernel space. That is why, right? So that is why it is large in size. But if we just talk about the advantage of this monolithic kernel is that it has good performance. Why it is good performance? And the execution of the process is very fast. So 
the execution of the process is very fast why so because like in case of kernel space we are having all the functions just like the memory scheduling memory scheduling is being performed in the kernel space right even though in this same space all the all the other functions are being performed in this main like kernel space that is why it doesn't takes so much time for the execution right each and every command is being given by the shell in the kernel right and each and everything is one one separate space so that is why like it it executes in a very fast manner okay so that is why we could say that my, uh, like this monolithic kernel is very fast in execution as comparison to micro kernel right but obviously there are some kind of advantage uh, disadvantages in case of this monolithic kernel that is like the line of the code is very good. why so because each and every function is in the kernel space so obviously once the program is written then obviously it would be quite complicated or it would be very large so that is why the line of code is very big and the size is very big size is very large right and the another disadvantage is this like if any of the system fail if any of the system or you could say if any of the process fail then obviously it leads to the complete system fail okay this is one another disadvantage right so i hope you have uh, liked this video and uh, this is uh, or this would be very beneficial for you people so what you do you just watch it carefully and uh, if you like this video then please do comment in the below comment box and don't forget to subscribe this channel so thank you thank you so much